Okay, go ahead. Right, okay, I'm David Rand of CSIRO. I'm now an honorary fellow. Mm -hmm. And it was my good fortune in 1986 when Hans Holstrup asked me if I would set the battery regulations for this mad thing called the World Solar oh. Challenge. <laughs> Fantastic and we've been method. friends ever since. And that was quite difficult in those days as we had no idea what cars were going to turn up. Mm -hmm. And in those days we didn't actually set a limit for the battery. Mm. It's really what people could afford or yeah. use. What's and acceptable? the battery used then was quite small compared with what we use today. Mm -hmm. And was silver zinc in those days, now of course it's lithium iron. And we thought the cars would go very slowly, but of course Sunracer came along and set the uh, very good record which since then has been eclipsed as the technology has got better and better both in arrays, batteries, aerodynamics, motors. Yes. So oh. we've had to progressively mm -hmm. reduce the size of the array or the weight of the battery which really means the watt hours, yep. uh, kilowatt hours per gram, sorry, the, the watt hours that's stored, the kilowatt hours that's stored. Mm -hmm. And uh, that shows you that this event is a very good marker of the progress in certain technologies, be they photovoltaics, batteries, um, aerodynamic design, or uh, <coughs> in, um, yeah, let me look at the other one. Um, I forgot to stop for a minute. What oh, was the other solar one? Solar cells, maybe. Anyway, anyway, mm -hmm. oh, I said motors. Anyway, mm -hmm. so. Each year we have to, um, and then of course we decided because all the cars were starting to be the same, mm -hmm. three wheel and all look the same, we decided to introduce four wheels uh, in the Challenger class to make them look a little bit more like the uh, auto, a standard car. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they still went at very fast speeds because <laughs> the technology was improving. Mm -hmm. We reduced the ray size, we reduced the battery size, and then eventually we brought in this cruiser uh, event uh, where you can have last, two last or more yep. and this has been incredibly popular mm -hmm. around the world because people are starting to think not that these batteries these cars are practical but they're producing practical solutions that will go into many avenues of road transportation um, and now of course this year well we had the most fantastic event with five cars with 30 and minutes it, between yes. them at three quarters of the way. We're ready for commercial. So, yeah, so, mm -hmm. and some are road registered as the Eindhoven one. So we're delighted that, that this this uh, event, which started with 23 cars in 1987, mm -hmm. this year had 45, but three unfortunately had to drop out for various reasons. We have 42. So I think to date we've had something like 460 solar cars sometimes Fantastic. a repetition of the same car mm -hmm. in the 13 events today and I've, I've been every one of them <laughs> so yeah, I've got to okay. think of something oh, more difficult to do now okay. for Obscite they, they suggest that's going to be a photovoltaic don't they and it's got lead in it but does it not dissolve in water? well actually for Obscite it's going to be on um, um, you may put it on the coating or on silicon yeah. but some it had believe, to be encapsulated then, yeah. Uh, some believe it actually will replace silicon one day. So It's a possible, but I, I have a feeling it's soluble. I know the lead industry is quite interested because it contains oh. lead. And let's suggest that the automotive battery mm -hmm. uh, will no longer be lead. They'll lose a big market. Although I'm the co-inventor of the ultra battery, which goes into um, hybrid cars now. That's the combined lead acid super cap battery. Mm -hmm. So I think that will be used in stop start for a long time. But eventually, I think obviously lithium must come in somewhere into either just a pure starter battery or a battery for obviously plug in hybrids. Well, there's going to be a lot of changes. Uh, yeah. There are some problems with lithium. You, you won't be able to put it in the engine compartment if it's going to be a starter battery. Another problem is, if it's going to be starter batteries, the, the lead's the most recycled product in the world, more mm -hmm. than aluminum or glass or paper. But if you start to accidentally mix lithium batteries with lead batteries, uh, that, that was, can lead to explosive uh, results. Uh, I've seen it happen. Well, actually, uh, battery, I saw one uh, company called by the name of Acreon. Have you heard yes. of Acreon? I've heard, I know It's Acreon. very safe. It's a salt base, and uh, but that's it's a sodium sodium battery. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but it's probably more for fixed 
um, rather than mobile, like what Tesla would be. probably will, but um, I'm not sure its performance is, is a comparable with lithium. And of course, people want the best one, don't they? Oh. But they take risks with it, of course. Yes. Okay, well, well thank you very much.